Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another gameplay for you today, another defensive video. Uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, some adjustments I've been using on defense, specifically a defense that I think is one of the best pass defenses in the game. Now, I'm using the Ravens defense because I'm playing in a draft champions. This is like the fourth game in a, a six-game draft champions. Um, so, you know, I don't necessarily, I didn't get to pick my book like I typically would. I typically like the Chiefs playbook is my favorite. Haven't put out a defensive ebook, by the way. I do have about five ebooks out for people that have been asking. So, links in the description below if you guys want to check them out. I'll get my defensive ebook out as soon as possible. Uh, but for right now, starting off, we're on defense, which is perfect. Because, like I said, it's a defensive video. And I've mostly been using just a straight 245 nickel. The only adjustments I really make on this particular defense is I want to make sure that I have uh, safeties at these linebacker spots because the linebackers in this game are pretty much too slow. So now I got Trey Boston and I got, um, you know, just I have just two safeties there, which is basically the best way to go. So for a run defense, this is the way to go for me. Uh, this is not the pass defense I'm talking about because this has four down linemen. Um, so it's definitely going to be a better version here. I mean, we just have speed to the edge. The linebackers that are now safeties do a much better job of getting to the edge so the outside runs don't necessarily uh, give them a problem. So first two plays, my opponent is going to do that. He's going to try to run to the outside. And then, like I said, I got plenty of speed to follow and to shut these plays down. So like I said, that's just one adjustment for more of a run defense. I'll get to my pass defense a little bit later in the video. You can use this defense just like this and put uh, linebackers at the uh, defensive ends because a lot of times I'm dropping them in the zones. Like you saw right there, I already put that out in the tip video uh, where I essentially um, just put the defensive end into a, uh, a flat. But I'll go into that more later if you didn't catch that video. I am going to use a uh, pass defense trick here though that I've used in previous uh, Maddens, which is the cross three fire. This is something that I've showed in uh, last year's Madden. I think I might even show it the year before that. All I'm really going to do on a play like this on a third and 10 or a fourth and 10 is zone all the linebackers and you're going to see how there's just going to be nothing to throw to over the middle just clogs the middle with zones uh, my opponent here tries to roll out luckily the defensive end got in the way and then sure enough i switch i, I used back enough that uh, accidentally switched off but he made the play so we get the ball right at the 27 gonna hit him with some run plays because like i said i'm using the ravens book and this is a definitely a run 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 playbook this is one of the ebooks that i have put out already and it's one of the ones that i enjoy using the most it's one of the most fun books so the drive's starting off fine second and one um we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hit him with the uh i mean right here i mean he's he's stacking the box it looks like he's using the 245 or some sort of nickel package too i think that's one of the best defenses a lot of people are really on with it but i don't know if they're necessarily making the the adjustments that i'm making uh but the next play i'm going to go and use the gun heisman which is one of my favorite short yardage plays but for some reason they have uh the quarterback at one of the running back spots so i try to switch it out and i really want to have work done in that spot because he's just super op and he's super fast uh, but for some reason, it's not letting me. I mean, I'm, I'm running out of time, and I'm trying to set this up. Uh, it keeps it only gives me the option to put my backup running back Cam Akers there. So by the time I fix it and I get to the line, I have I'm only a couple seconds left, and Darren Waller is in the wrong spot. So sure enough, I pitch it to him, and he's just super slow. So the, the play gets shut down all because it's a Madden BS. Like, is that a glitch, or is it supposed to be that way? Is there a college formation that I'm not aware of called the Heisman, where there's a quarterback at that spot? I don't know. I don't really get it, but it's gonna. It cost me a, a probably a touchdown there. So the next defensive series is when I discover this pass defense. It's essentially the same look. It's a dime two three six. But I noticed when I was making my adjustments, I, I like, did I see that? It said I could put Quentin Dunbar at this linebacker spot. So now I have an additional DB on the field, an additional corner that will be able to cover these slot receivers and tight ends much better. And I really find that this is one of the best ways to go. Um, there's still a few more adjustments I'll show you down the line, but you can see. I mean, that was an all-out blitz, a zero, and it, it was shut down. Now, Next play, um, you know, like I said, we're just basically in man cover two the whole time. You can see, I mean, I used that route enough that I slowed that. It, it kind of has like a suction effect when it comes to tight coverage, and it kind of slowed the guy down. So this is basically the play, the formation, the dime two, three, six. We have seven DBs on the field, three of which are safeties, and we also have two down linemen at the DT spots and two linebackers at the defensive end spots. The linebackers do a much better job of covering uh, the outside. Although on this next play, this guy does a horrible job. As you can see, he's just standing there. 
He's just standing there. Menacingly! And sure enough, the ball just whizzes right past his head because he wasn't moving at all. I mean, what are you waiting for, a bus? So the second we get off the field, I bench his ass. I put in the, the next linebacker, which is Kiko Alonso, who's actually a higher-rated player anyway. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, that's the type of coverage you would expect from a defensive end. That's why I have linebackers out there. They're supposed to have better zone coverages. Uh, very next play hits me with a good man beater. I think ultimately after that, you know, those are pretty much the two successful plays that he's going to have this entire game. As you're going to see, for the most part, this is going to be shut down. The run's getting stopped, too. I mean, it doesn't really, you know, it's still a good run defense. You see Kiko Alonso here, who I just subbed, has a much better play. And there's one more adjustment that you can make, and I don't make this a lot because you're not going to get pressure, and it's kind of frowned upon, but you could also put the other linebacker on the short side of the field in a vertical hook. Typically, I put the the uh, the linebacker on the, the larger side of the field on a curl because he has to cover more space, but you can help yourself out with another zone defender on the short side by putting him on a vertical hook. So now I only have two defenders going in. You'll see you'll still get pressure for over time. Like, they just typically eventually get off like he does here. I mean, there's just nothing open. I mean, the guy has to throw the ball away you're gonna see i'm gonna do that a couple times but like i said i don't do, I don't do that a lot because i know people are gonna you know that, that's that's a really cheap this is a really cheesy defense to do it like this and you can see i'm double teaming everything nothing's open then on fourth down you better damn sure you know i'm definitely doing it on fourth down because i, I want to get off the field here i mean we're trying to win super bowls buddy i i'm not worried about like leagues you might have an issue in leagues you gotta blitz three defenders so a way around that to still have that look if you go with a cover one there's a cover one where there's a blitzing middle linebacker in this package if you go with that that, um, and then basically you do the exact same thing with the defensive ends. Then you still have three defenders blitzing, uh, so, it could, so it could be legit. So if you're in the league and they have a rule that says you have to blitz three, just use the cover one variation and do the exact same thing. Because ultimately what makes that effective anyway is, you know, it's the defensive ends and what they're doing. So we go back to that Heisman again. And once again, I forgot, I still didn't sub out Darren Waller. So we're going to switch it up. We're just going to hit it with the inside variation because I don't trust him to the edge. And he's too slow to even do that. So the very next play, I switch that out. We get Cam Akers in there. And sure enough, it doesn't even matter. The guy shuts me down anyway. So that, that whole variation just wasn't having success in this particular gameplay. But it's still a really good play. So third and nine. Uh, you know, we're, we're basically in a position here where we want to guarantee a field goal. So I'm not going to risk the ball, even though I think I could have made that B route happen. But like I said, I don't want to throw a bad ball, get picked off, regret it. Uh, but it feels like I'm dominating this game and I'm only up six points, uh, which is always bad to let your opponent linger. So back on defense, my plan here was to back away, but it just like sucked me in right past them. And I probably could have had an easy sack, but I was more concerned with trying to take away that slant route. So... Uh, I should have definitely put him in a hook or, or put, put him in something so it didn't do that. Uh, next series, I mean, he's just trying to bomb nope. up. You're not going to beat cover two with just about anybody. He tried to moss me with, uh, with Gronkowski, but you can see how there's just three guys just colliding all around it. Then he's trying to hit me with a crosser, which is a pretty good man beater. I'm going to take that away. Uh, it must have been the dagger play as he hits me right underneath with the, with the comeback to the or the check and release to the running back. Third and one, I should have went with that variation. I left three down linemen on that play. Uh, he almost makes it. Does you can't even tell that the ball came out, but it did. No. Nope. So fourth and one, we're definitely going to do that play over that variation on this particular play because he has no timeout. So if he wants to run for that first down, he can. He can. He tries to, and then sure enough, the man to the running back comes over and makes the play. So with 16 seconds left, I'm going to guess he's going to at least be in a cover three. So I'm going to try to hit him with a cover three beating play. It doesn't necessarily look like a cover three, though. So on the next play, I'm just going to see the tight end is going to get open pretty quickly. Uh, and I'm going to take that underneath. So it might have been a cover three, but like I said, I just didn't didn't look like it was developing. Um, but I'm going to run that again because, like I said, I have a feeling eventually he's going to run a cover three. So this time we're going to motion this this running back out. You can see it makes the safety move across. So I know I got a cover three. I just didn't either. I threw the ball too early because of pressure, or I just didn't make all the full adjustments. So I'm going to do that one more time. Seven seconds left. Nothing really to lose. Third and one. We're going to try to get this touchdown. Uh, once again, I make that motion. We got that cover three. This time, though, I'm going to make one slight change, and I'm going to put this X route on a smart route. Since it's third and one, it shortens it dramatically. And now, sure enough, this RB route is going to be wide open. Break yourself, fool! It looks like my opponent saw it because he tried to get over the end user, but it was just too late. So we take a 13 nothing lead at half. He's desperate now. He's already trying to onside kicks and stuff like that, trying to come back into this game. And I'm going to start off with the ball in really good position. So I'm not really going to, you know, I, I can just kill time here. I'm up two possessions. I'm, I'm probably looking at a field goal at the least. So I'm just going to run a couple of times. Uh, nothing too crazy. On third and four, though, I decide to try to pass it. And then once again, I just don't want to take any chances. I throw the ball away, get a penalty. No big deal. Punt the ball back. 
Like I said, this is a defensive video anyway. So in the next series, like I said, we're just basically trying to take away deep routes first because it seems like that's what he's trying to do. And I think he's pretty much given up on the idea of completing passes. As you can see, I mean, there was guys open there. He just took off with the quarterback right away because I think it's to the point where he realizes nothing is open and he's not even really trying. So he's going to try to run one more time. Like I said, you don't have Lamar Jackson, buddy, so <laughs> it's not going to work out that way. We get an easy pick gotcha, on the next play. I love that animation, the way he snatched that. And sure enough, once I get tackled there, he's going to head for the eggs. He's going to pull the ripcord. So that that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section or hit the like button and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. You win. Perfect. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.